Hi, I'm Brad Ginnix from Ronzio Guitar Center of Avon Lake, working with the Avon Lake Public Library to present to you our beginning guitar lessons online. Today's segment, part four, covers learning a few chords and playing some songs. In the graphic you'll see next to me, we are showing a chart on how to read a chord chart, okay? And chord charts are a little bit different than tablature. It's a picture of a guitar pretty much sitting just like this, okay? Just like that, this little area, this little part up here is a headstock, and the strings are going this way, and the frets are going this way, and you'll see that in the picture right next to me. The dots represent where our fingers go on the fretboard, okay? You'll see two little black dots because we're gonna learn an E minor chord first. The string names are right across the top, and then you see the fret numbers are right down the side, one, two, three, four, and E, A, D, G, B, G, e, G, B, E, go right across the top. As you'll see, the graphic shows a finger pushed down right here on the fifth string or second one from my face, and then right below it on the same fret. Notice how both those two black dots are in the same fret. They're not switching like this out there, they're straight in the same fret. Sometimes it's a little tough to get your fingers in there. That's called an E minor chord, one of the easiest chords to play on the guitar, and it's used quite a bit. I'll put the guitar back in my playing position so you can actually see what it looks like. Okay? The numbers represent the fingers you're going to use on that chord with the, with the, when you're making the shape, okay? So you, I think I've written, yep, I wrote two and three right there. So I have a second finger right here on the A string second fret, and my third finger is right below it, right underneath in the same fret. And I'm gonna strum all six strings. You'll see the zeros above the strings I'm not pushing down. That means to play those strings open. If an X is written on those strings, that means don't strum that string, because not every chord plays all six strings on the guitar. We don't always strum all six strings. This one we actually do, which makes it easy. So as you can see, I'm taking my pick like we talked about, holding with two fingers. I'm just strumming straight towards the floor. And I strum all six of them. If I do that up and down strum, it almost starts sounding like a song, but. And strumming's a whole different ball of wax, too. That takes a lot of practice to get a good strumming sound, to get a good rhythm going. Whole different part of guitar. That's why chords are sometimes pretty tough to do, and we never show them right away. I tell most of my students, it takes about two months to kind of get decent at the guitar. It's gonna take some time and some patience. If you do and you get over that hump, it's a lot of fun, but it does take time and patience and a lot of practice. There's our E minor chord. Also you'll see next to me is a graph with different chord chart, different chords. These are eight of the main chords. I mean, they're not all the chords you'll ever play on the guitar, but they're gonna get you by almost 90% of any song you wanna play, okay? And you read the charts just like we read for the E minor chord. You'll see, I'm gonna walk through each one of these chords just so you can kind of get an idea what the fingers look like for them, okay? The first chord you'll see right there is an A chord. None of these are in the order of easy or hard. They're just in that order for this chord chart. We're gonna walk through them. They're a little tough to do at first. Take your time and practice. You'll see the A chord shows one, two, three. All my fingers are in the same fret. And it sounds like that. I'm strumming the top five skinny strings. You'll notice the X over the big thick one. We don't strum that string. I'm strumming straight towards the floor. I think using my first, second, and third fingers is a little tough. If it is, you can use your second, third, and fourth fingers. As you can see, I'm, I'm fingering it like that now. I've seen books that also show it like this. Two, one, three. Whatever works for you is fine, they all do the same thing. You can put your first finger flat across the fret to get the A chord just like that, okay? Next chord's a C chord. A Little tough to get because you have to really round your fingers. You gotta use the tips of your fingers to make sure none of the strings are uh, being muted. And I'll tell everybody that's a good way to check yourself. Plucky, put the chord down as you see the C chord, one, two, and three, and notice I'm using three different frets in this one, so it's a little tougher and I'm plucking each individual string so I know that they're ringing out. If I'm not doing it right, let's see if I can do it. See that top string's got a mute to it? Because my first finger's touching the string and it's not ringing open. And that, that happens quite often when you're, start, when you're starting to play guitar. Gotta keep those fingers, the tips of your fingers really on the tip of them and rounded. Notice how my fingers are rounded? If I'm down like this, I'm never gonna be able to play the chord. See how bad it sounds already? So you gotta keep your hands in the right position. You'll read a lot of people too talk about the thumb should be right behind the neck. That's up to you. I never play that way. That's a, that's a proper classical playing technique. If I'm sitting like this like we talked about earlier, classical guys will sit like that too, okay? And if your nails are too long, you won't be able to play these chords either. Your nails gotta be short enough to actually push these strings down and get, get, it, get the fingers in there, okay? And that's a C chord. 
going right across the top chord chart, we'll see we have a D chord. This is only going to use the top four skinny strings. Okay, and as I call it the triangle chord because my fingers are like in a triangle. One, three, and two. And I'm just strumming the top four strings. Very common chord. Comes up all the time. My next chord is an E chord. Very similar to that E minor we learned. But we just put our first finger down. And I tell students a lot of times, maybe that's a good first thing to practice, just going E, E, and put your first finger down. Songs don't usually do this, but it's just a good practice exercise. You rarely hear an E and an E minor back and forth. But you can practice getting that finger in there, okay? Next chord is G. G's pretty far spread out, and it looks like this. As you'll notice, my fingers are three, one, and then my, I'm sorry, my second, my first, and my third's way on the top skinny string. So it's spread out pretty good. Next chord, A minor, which is a good one to practice with E because E and A minor have the same fingering, just different strings. You'll see my E chord, like we talked about, is on the, you know, towards the ceiling a little bit. My A minor chord, I take that same shape and move it towards the floor one string and strum the top five strings, but not the sixth string, okay? D minor, a little tough, doesn't come up that much, but it's on the chord chart, so you might as well have be able to practice it. Top four strings again, one, three, and four, and I'm, as you see, I'm spread out between three frets, so that's a little bit tough to play. It doesn't come up as much as the other chords, and the last one was E minor right there, okay? Good way to practice these chords. Pick a couple chords and go back and forth. I'll tell students, for instance, if I'm going between, let's just say G, and C, because that's very common. A little hard to do, but it's common. I'll put the G chord down just like I'm fingering it. I don't even worry about strumming the guitar. Strumming the guitar doesn't matter. And just go back and forth between those two chords with just the fingering. As you'll notice, my fingers are going together. It's hard to do. The shape should be made in the air. You can already see a C chord going down. You can already see the G chord being played. Before I even push the strings down, the chord's already made. If I'm going like this, each finger gets there at its own time. You'll never get it down in time to switch a chord because you're going. That opening little riff I play in the segment is G, C, D. D. As you notice when I'm playing that, that, that whole little riff, my fingers are all going together. So as you can see, I'm just doing this over and over. Great way to practice and get this down quicker. It's boring, I understand that. But you want to get it down quick? That's the best way to do it. And for the last part of segment four, we're going to actually learn how to play a song. I picked a really easy song that I thought would be great for you, and this is also in our classes. It's called Horse With No Name by America. An older tune, and I've seen it written a few different ways of how to play it, but we're going to do it a simple way that'll sound just like the song. It's going to use our E minor chord, just like this. And the other chord's called like a D6 add whatever you want to call that. I don't know if it's a D6 add 9F sharp, whatever you want to call this chord. Um, but it was just because we're going to add some, a couple fingers in there. It will be a chord you'll probably never play in any other song, and it's only two fingers. And then this one. Okay. Uh, whatever fingers work best for you to get there, I kind of like going. I'm using my second and third for all of it. So I'm st starting on the E minor chord, just like we learned at the beginning. And then we're going to that D, add six, add nine, whatever you want to call that chord. It's written in, the sh in, your, in your sheet for you. D, six, add nine, F sharp. I don't, it's kind of a complicated name of a chord. But we're actually just having two fingers. My second finger is down here in the bottom thick string. And my third finger just moves down one string to the second fret on the G string, okay? And we're going back with a simple four strums on each chord. going back and forth like that. Because you put the strum in, it more sounds like the song. Now, if it's easier for you to use your first and second finger, that's okay. You see I'm using my first and second finger to do that also. It takes a lot of practice to get that strum in there. So at first, just like we said, just practice four strums back and forth. You kind of get used to going that. Put the recording on and start playing along with the guys. You'll have a lot of fun with it. Just like that. Thank you again for joining us here at the Avon Lake Public Library. My name is Brad Genix from Ron Zeal Guitar Center. And hope you have fun playing guitar.